Hey guys, um, I haven't done a video in quite a while, um, just moved into a new house and um, yeah still sort of slowly unpacking, um, just, just mainly wanted to do a video of my uh, disaster piece of suits, this is my clown replica suit, all the padding, all the cross hatching, And if you look closely, sorry for the bad video, every piece of that is sewn on. Uh, it's got all the zippers, all the buckles. Uh, clowns only have, only had the one strap. If you watch the DVD and get some good shots of the clown, he's only had one on the legs and one on the arms. But we've got zippers on the front and back of the legs. But yeah, all that is all sewn on, all that cross hatching, all the padding. I actually used two suits to make the one. I uh, used this one as the base suit and then uh, ordered another suit and got it uh, dyed a different colour to make the shoulder pieces, the zipper cover, all the padding. Um, there's a strip of different coloured material on the on the arms as well. Uh, this thing's pretty much as accurate as you can get. I've never even seen anybody attempt this suit, let alone an accurate version. Um, I hand embroidered that on. It took fucking forever. But um, yeah, a whole lot of that's hand embroidered. Uh, the numbers all say the same, hand embroidered. Uh, I'm not going to pull out the mannequin to do a video of the back. I'm just going to show you my daughter's suit, which is an exact replica of Corey's. And Corey's had the three straps. Uh, the zippers still actually need to be sewn on, but it's 99% complete. All the straps are on, all the buckles, all the padded areas. Uh, this, I'm still going to hand embroider that on as well. That's just going to take a lot of time to do. Also, the mini suit. Every single piece of that's sewn on as well. And lots of time. Actually had to um, well this this suit I made from scratch. Uh, this suit I actually had to remove the arms and unpick them into one flat piece to sew all of this on. Um, and that is the back. I actually still have to put the uh, shoulder piece on too that I've just remembered. But um, even down to taking off the pockets and sewing all of that on as well. It's all as accurate as you can get. Even down to uh, pockets. Pockets and an open style pocket to reach inside for the pockets. Um, but yeah, that's my daughter's suit. That's my suit. Also, um, new masks. Uh, got the Iowa Craig. That one's from Connor DeLess. I don't think he's making them anymore. I think he did a limited run of them. Pretty stoked with that one. And um, just scored this the other day too. Witch Doctor, beautiful story, skinny. Anyway, that's about it for the update video for now. Um, as I get more masks unpacked and get myself more settled in, I'll probably do one or two more. I've got a sculpt in the works that I'm working on at the moment. Um, probably be another week or two before I finish that. Uh, and to everybody commenting on uh, my videos asking to buy masks, um, hit my Facebook page up because I don't really get on YouTube very often anymore. Um, mainly because I have so many issues commenting and replying and stuff like that. So 
it's just easier for me to deal with it on Facebook. Um, I actually have a couple of them for sale at the moment if anyone's interested, the Iowa SIDS and a couple of Volume 3 Pauls. But um, yeah, that's about it. Hit me up on Facebook if you're interested. Um, those of you that don't know me on Facebook, um, just look for Astro Creep Mask and Mask Conversions. And that's my page, so you'll be able to get hold of me on there. Anyways, peace.